It's me again, Ray, from the Radio Workshop, call sign G4NSJ, with a very quick video about this Mini Whip Active Antenna. You've probably heard about it. Uh, I, some sort of magical device. Uh, the aerial itself is a little square plate about that big, and it receives stuff from all over the place, you know, like the old adverts in the 50s, pulls in stations from around the world. I bought one of these mini whip aerials because I use 80 meters and 40 meters a lot on the amateur bands, shortwave, HF, okay? And the noise level is horrendous. S9, S9 plus 20, noise is dreadful. So I put the mini whip antenna on a fiberglass, you know, these fishing rod poles. I've got one, actually half it's broken off. It's only about 16 feet. Uh, here's the pole, you can see uh, it's just a lash up <laughs> at the moment, as I say, about 16 feet. Right, this was my initial test, 80 metres, very noisy, 40, noisy, I was disappointed. I, I just thought, oh dear, you know, I've wasted my money here, not that it was expensive, good grief. But I thought, oh, this, this is it, I'm not going to be able to use it, unless I can get it up possibly on a 40 foot pole. Perhaps that would do it. You've got to clear the kind of noise area. Now that's not easy to do. I've got a doublet for 80 meters, you know, like a dipole fed with 300 ohm ribbon. The middle of that's about 30 feet. I can't clear the noise. I can't get it out of the noise. It goes over the house as well, which doesn't help picking up everything from the house. So I, the mini whip, a little bit disappointed. I tried it at night. I tried it on various bands, quite good on uh, 40, uh, not 40, uh, 20 meters, quite good there. Cuts down the stations that I'm listening to, the signal strength, but also the noise, so it is helpful there. But that was it, I thought I'd, I'd just give up with it. Until I looked on the internet and I read that this was originally designed for long and medium wave reception. I hadn't tried it on long and medium wave. So up I went to my radio room, as I call it, I can't call it a shack the spare bedroom. <laughs> so up to the radio room and uh, I had a, a quick listen around. Now have a look at this. This is uh, Shoreham on 332 kilohertz S9 as you can see and there's not a lot of noise. Like, I think, well there was so much noise it was wiped out. Now Shoreham Airport, that's a, a, a non-directional beacon, you've probably heard of them uh, on long wave, well between long wave and medium, well it is long wave isn't it? Non-directional beacon that uh, air, little airports have, uh, Shoreham's only what, uh, how many miles that way, five? Probably five, yeah five miles that way. Um, and it's only a 10 watt thing and it's for you know, aircraft that are coming and they can kind of direction find or whatever they do. Now there are, these are all over the country and abroad. I uh, picked up one from Le Havre. In fact, so far I've picked up about a dozen of them, uh, but I won't go through them all. But before I used the Mini Whip area, I had a, a long, just a wire, as long as I could get it. And the noise level, I couldn't hear Shoreham. I just couldn't hear anything. All I got was brrrr over the whole band, you know, noise. Couldn't hear any of the beacons. I've now picked up at least, what, 10, 12, something like that. Uh, that's only with a quick whiz round on the dial. Uh, I then went to medium wave, oh by the way RTE on 252 kilohertz long wave, that was what was it 15 dB over 9. Uh, I can normally get it here on a wire but uh, it's not very strong and the noise really you can't listen to it because of the noise. Okay I then switched over to medium wave and uh, just a couple of stations there. Laid back place, the Sun Lounge, with Adam Dunning. Starts Monday night at 9 on BBC Radio Jersey. There we are, Radio Jersey, 1026, at S9. Nice signal, hardly any noise with that one. That's Radio Guernsey, S9, 1116 kilohertz, Radio Guernsey. That's BBC Radio Wales, about S8, BBC Radio Wales. Um, when you think this is all on that mini whip aerial, well, next to no interference at all, just a little bit of background noise. There we are. 
I won't take you through any more because there are so many of them, but um, I've put a list on the website. This is just to give you an idea. So that's it. I, many years ago, I used to enjoy Media Wave DXing, but you know, I, I gave up. Uh, I used to quite enjoy listening to the beacons as well. There are also a lot of beacons on the 10 metre amateur band worldwide, but that's a different thing. But there are a lot of non-directional beacons there. Uh, you can find lists of them on the internet. That's quite interesting. Some people, <laughs> even more nerdish than me, some people, their sole purpose of the hobby is to log beacons around the world and get QSL cards back from reports they've sent in. Anyway, that's, that's a different thing. Um, right, so going back to this mini whip aerial, where do you think, I mean, there it is, there's the bits and pieces, that's on the, on the patio table before I put it up the pole. Uh, there's just the aerial, the kind of connection box thing, some coax, and uh, the power supply, as you can see, I've got a 12 volt um, lead acid battery there. Now the reason I'm using a battery, well, there's a couple of reasons. One, I, this is outside and I don't want to have to run a, p a power source outside really. Um, and the, but the main reason is, from what I've read around the internet, everyone is saying have a really good DC power supply because any noise from the power supply, you know, the aerial will pick it up and of course amplify it and you're back to noise again. Uh, so I thought, well, the best the, the purest form of DC, non-interference type power supply, is a battery. And I don't know, it'll last, what's it, two and a half amp hour battery, it'll last forever. Uh, well, not forever, but it's so easy, uh, I've just got a little plug on it. I can bring it into the workshop, charge it up you know, during the day, and then just plug it back into the unit. So, uh, yeah, the battery, for me anyway, is, is the easy way of doing it. And, of course, completely noise free. Now, going back to noise, the coax that comes down from the air, you know, you saw that, actually it's all, it's all going like that because it's not long enough. Um, I'm actually going to fit thicker coax to it, uh, the RG58. This stuff's very thin. It's, it's not so much the loss I'm thinking about, but physically outside I'll, I'm going to use thicker coax. Now the coax, as it comes down from the, the mini whip aerial, that tube, comes down here, okay, into the house, right, where your, your receiver is and all your, your power supplies, your LED lighting and stuff, computers, whatever. The outer of that coax is going to pick up all this noise from the house and take it up to the aerial on the shield, the outer of the coax. You're going to take it up to the aerial. Okay, when the noise gets up there, the very sensitive aerial is going to pick it all up. So you've got to stop that somehow. Now I've read, bear in mind I've only had this aerial for about, what, two, three days. So it's early days. Now I've read about putting, uh, winding the coax into a, a, like a choke up the top uh, near the aerial, using ferrite cores, all sorts of ferrite things up there. Um, that I haven't tried yet. But the important thing is, the one thing you must do, where the coax comes down, there's the aerial, right? The coax comes down here. You must ground this. Now, not where it goes into the house. You must ground it where it comes down. Now, that plugs, on my one anyway, it plugs into that little unit you saw. That's the power supply. Uh, well, the battery's the power supply, but that's a little unit that takes the power up the coax to the aerial. There's a grounding terminal on that. You must ground it properly, not to the mains earth, okay, but uh, some sort of outside earth. Um, I've, I'm lucky, I've got uh, under the lawn and all over the garden, I've got a load of radials that I used years ago on a top band aerial. But, um, so you've got to ground it. So any noises coming, this is in the house, all the noises coming along, along the outer of the coax from the house, the first thing that happens is they go to ground. So that grounding, I, wherever I've read, grounding is important. What I'll do at some stage, I'll disconnect the ground and see what difference it makes, just out of interest. When I said it, I was initially disappointed with the aerial, don't get me wrong, um, I've not got it up at a proper height. I haven't tried to um, put any ferrite at the top of the pole where the aerial connection comes out. I've not tried any of that. It's, as I say, 16 feet high. I've got a lot of noise around. Not a fair test for the aerial. Having said that, 
absolutely brilliant on long and medium wave that's good i mean i used to listen to american stations at night on medium wave you know quite often in the old days you'd hear the americans no way now with the noise but i'm hoping with this that i might hear some american stations again or what they call the am band of course i don't call it medium wave um american chap said to me recently what's medium wave and i said it's you know it's whatever frequency and he said yeah but that's am What's medium wave? And uh, there we are. So to our American friends, it's uh, the radio's taken off over there. Yes, it's uh, AM, uh, what you would call AM. A long wave, of course. You haven't got in America, have you? Well, not for broadcast uh, things. We've we've got BBC Radio Four on long wave. Uh, that on on that tried that. What was it? It's about sixty over nine. Um, yeah, fantastic. A lot. There's a lot of other beacons and things around that I'll be tuning into as well. Uh, but yes, I will try the aerial on medium wave at night and also into top band because as you know That's right at the end of medium wave 160 meter amateur band. I'll have a little tune into that at night as well See what I can get. Okay. I think that's it. So um, Thanks for watching as always and I shall keep you up to date with my findings. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now